to? Ito ang treasure ko. Ito ang tawag ay pearls. O pearl. Mga alawas ko to. Inipon ko pa yan dati. At alam niyo ba, mahalaga to sa akin. Okay? Sunday school na naman po kayo. Tara na! Mag-aral na naman tayo sa Sunday school. Tawagin niyo na yung mga classmates niyo. Mag-start na tayo. Pakanta na tayo. Okay? Dana and this is Sunday School. Now, before we start our Sunday School, we will all pray. So, kids, how do we pray? Prayer position. We bow down our heads and we close our eyes. Okay? Repeat after teacher. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you because we are here in Sunday school. Help us to listen to our teachers. Help us to understand your story. Guide us and bless us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, kids, teacher will tell you a story. And our story is from the Bible. The title of our story is The Parable of the Hidden Treasure and Pearl. So, kids, what is a parable? I remember teacher Kyle already told you what is a parable. Do you remember? Well, it's okay if you don't because I will tell you what is a parable. A parable is a short story with two 
different meanings. Now kids, what is a treasure or kayamanan? Hmm. Have you ever played treasure hunting? A treasure or kayamanan are the things that are important to us. Long time ago, Jesus had told his followers that finding the kingdom of heaven was like finding hidden treasure. One day, a man walking in a field hit something hard in the ground. He dug and found a box full of treasure and was happy. He covered the box and went to get money from his home to buy the land. He sold everything he had to buy the land with the treasure in it. Jesus said, A man wanting treasure sells everything to get the treasure. So a person looking for the kingdom of God has to leave everything behind for it too. Our story is not yet over. There's another man walking and he saw someone selling a pretty pearl. So he wants to buy that pearl. So he did everything that he can to buy that pearl. He sell all his clothes, his things, his house, so that he can afford that pearl. And he did it. He bought that pretty pearl. What is the kingdom of heaven? It's like a treasure hidden in a field. What would you do if you found it I would sell everything I own and buy that field Oh, the kingdom of heaven can be ours If we know just what to do Do not soar above the riches But treasure What is the kingdom of heaven? It is like a very precious pearl. What would you do if you found it? I would sell everything I own and buy that pearl. hidden treasure and the pearl are like the kingdom of Jesus. Diba kids, yung dalawang man, ginawa nila yung lahat para makuha yung pearl at yung treasure. Binenta nila yung bahay nila, yung damit nila, lahat ng bagay na meron sila para lang makabili ng pearl at para makuha yung treasure. So dapat kids, ganun din tayo. Gagawin natin ang lahat para maging part tayo ng family ni Jesus. Para maka-enter tayo sa kingdom niya. Kids, if you see your favorite toy in the mall, di ba you will do anything and everything to mommy and daddy so that they will buy you that toy? We should be always like that when it comes to Jesus. Jesus did everything for us. And so, we should do everything and anything to follow Him and to be part of His family. Kids, do you want to be part of Jesus' family? 
Do you want to enter the kingdom of Jesus? If yes, there's only one thing you need to do and that is treasure all the stories that our teachers told us. Not just the stories, but also the lessons from the stories. And share it to our friends. Kids, always remember to treasure every story from the Bible. Always remember that, okay? Okay, kids, it's time for our memory verse. So, Tagalog muna tayo, okay? Sabay-sabay natin basahin ang nasa screen. Sapagkat kung saan naroon ang iyong puso, doon naman doroon ang iyong kayamanan. Mateo, Kabanata 6, Verso 21. So, okay. Ngayon naman, may action. Follow teacher. Okay? Sapagkat kung saan naroon ang iyong puso, doon naman doroon ang iyong kayamana. Mateo, Kabanata 6, Verso 21. Isa pa. Sapagkat kung saan naroon ang iyong puso, doon naman doroon ang iyong kayamana. Mateo, Kabanata 6, Verso 21. English naman. Okay, let's all read together what is written in a script. Your heart will be where your treasure is. Matthew 6 verse 21 Okay, now read action. Follow teacher. Your heart will be where your treasure is. Matthew 6, verse 21. Okay, I guess. Your heart will be where your treasure is. Matthew 6, verse 21. Hello mga kids! Ako nga pala si Teacher Kaylin at nandito ulit ako ngayon para sa Arts and Craft Time. So Teacher Kaylin, ano ba ang gagawin natin ngayon? Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay isang treasure chest. Ready na ba kayo mga kids? Kung ready na kayo, then let's get started. Ang materials na kailangan natin para sa ating craft is paper, scissors, marker and pen, ruler, crayons or colored pencils. Kuha kayo ng isang bond paper at i-fold nyo to sa gitna. Kunin nyo ang inyong marker at sa dulo na naka-fold, dun kayo mag-start mag-drawing ng parang curve na line. Next, kunin nyo yung scissors nyo at gupitin nyo yung excess paper. Pagkatapos yung gupitin, yung both sides, dapat meron kayong ganitong shape na nabubuksan. Sa isang side ng paper, gupit ninyo sa gitna.
Pagkatapos yung gupitin, kunin nyo yung ruler nyo and your marker at pwede na kayo mag-start mag-design. Pagkatapos nyo mag-design, pwede na kayo mag-start mag-color. Pagkatapos yung mag-color, buksan nyo ang inyong treasure chest at sa loob, isulat nyo, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure. Matthew 13, verse 44. Pagkatapos nyo mag-craft, dapat ganito ang itsura ng inyong treasure chest. Ano naman ko nagawa yung mga treasure na yan? Yung mga pearl na to, hindi din na ang pala mahalaga. Mas mahalaga pala. Ang magipon tayo ng treasure sa heaven para buhunta tayo kay Lord. Kasi friend natin si Lord, di ba? O mga bato, nag-enjoy ba kayo sa story? Ganun din sa mga craft ninyo? Sana, bumalik kayo next Sunday. Okay mga bato? to go home It's time to go home. 